The Mi A1 was quite a different smartphone from Xiaomi. Different because it did things that people never really expected from the brand. Stock Android, a great camera, good audio quality weren't really traits you found on a Xiaomi phone till then. A year later we have the Mi A2 which attempts to recreate that formula but perhaps with a more consistent mix. This is Sandeep from Rev Atlas, let's compare the two smartphones. The Mi A1 was famous for its good dual camera setup. The wide and telephoto combination was rarely seen at their price point and it also managed to implement it successfully. The A1 had two cameras, 12 megapixel, one with f2.2 aperture, 1.25 micron pixel size and a secondary telephoto lens that had f2.6 aperture and 2x optical zoom and 1 micron pixel size. The A2 on the other hand has a 12 megapixel Sony IMX486 sensor, f1.75 aperture, 1.25 micron pixel size and a 20 megapixel Sony IMX376 with f1.75 aperture, 1 micron pixel size for low light and depth sensing. The front facing camera is a 5 megapixel unit on the A1 but the A2 gets a 20 megapixel Sony IMX376 with f2.2 aperture. Here are some samples to give you an understanding on what to expect. For a full-fledged analysis, stay tuned for a camera comparison. The A2 measures the same in terms of thickness and is just a gram heavier but is taller and a tad bit narrower than its predecessor. But despite the larger dimensions, the A2 feels more compact due to the curved back. The A1 felt good to hold and was well built, but the A2 is easier to handle and feels better to grip. In terms of display, the A2 is larger and kind of like most 2018 smartphones with an 18-9 screen. Luckily, there is no notch, but the display is still 1080p in terms of resolution and is an IPS unit. I'm not particularly against IPS panels, but the one on this unit still faces the same low brightness and reflective glass and sunlight legibility is hampered as a result. The display is sharp and colors are good, but you won't get to choose the color modes, but there is still the night shift mode available. The Mi A1 offered a headphone jack and a micro SD card slot via the hybrid dual SIM slot. Both of them are now gone and the A2 makes use of a USB Type-C port for audio delivery and you get a dual nano SIM slot. Audio quality still remains great, since it has the same amplifier, it's just that you need to make use of a USB Type-C to 3.5mm audio jack to listen to wired audio. The speaker is louder on the A2 compared to the A1 as well, but it's still a mono unit. Performance wasn't an issue with the Mi A1 thanks to stock Android. The A2 also features stock Android and an Android 1 branding. Whether this time around the updates will be more regular or not remains to be seen, but this year definitely brings hardware improvements in the form of a new year Snapdragon 660 chipset. The Mi A1 came with a Snapdragon 625 chipset along with 3 or 4 gigs of RAM, while you get either 4 or 6 GB of RAM on the Mi A2. The battery capacity remains practically the same on both at 3000 mAh. Battery life too remains more or less the same on each, achieving a max of 5 hours of screen on time and around 4 to 4.5 hours on most days. The charging is much faster on the A2 however thanks to Qualcomm Quick Charge 4.0 which is available exclusively on the Indian variant of the A2. The A2 isn't strictly speaking a must-have upgrade for A1 users. The lack of an audio jack and memory expansion may put off some existing A1 users looking for an upgrade. But if you don't mind that and you're looking for something like what the A1 provided but say with a bigger screen, much better camera and improved performance, then the A2 is a worthy buy. Thanks for watching this video. See you again in the next one.